A lawyer for troubled Dalton City Hall leader Tiffany Henyard said Tuesday that, bad, town legal administrators are attempting to assume command over her position and are guaranteeing powers they don't have. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. At what was to have been a routinely booked town executive gathering, playmate Brindley, a lawyer recruited a little while prior by Henyard, said legal administrators who are in conflict with her have volunteered to attempt to remove the force of the city chairman and marked it political debasement of the most obviously terrible kind. Brindley said that Henyard is enduring an onslaught by a bad leading group of legal administrators that accept they can undermine the desire of individuals. Although Henyard has not been accused of any wrongdoing, federal authorities have summoned the village, Thornton Township, and Thornton High School District 205, where Henyard is the supervisor. Financial records and other documents regarding Henyard, her political campaign committee, and an alleged charitable organization under her control intended to assist cancer patients have been requested by investigators. While the site for Brindley's Chicago law office takes note of his involvement with criminal guard, he said that he does not address City Hall leader Tiffany Henyard in a criminal limit, since she has not been accused of any wrongdoings and has not perpetrated any violations. Brindley said Henyard has recruited me to face these individuals and to help her reclaim the city chairman's office. Four legal administrators who say Henyard is abusing town reserves and driven Dalton profound into obligation picked to drop Tuesday's gathering and planned an executive gathering for September 12 at a Dalton Park region office. They said they required extra chance to figure out on problems, for example, drafting a speculative town spending plan. Dalton's financial plan year for monetary 2025 started May 1, however the town board hasn't examined or embraced a financial plan. Henyard moved to delegate a town lawyer Tuesday's dropped gathering, likewise went to by legal administrators Stan Brown and Andrew Holmes. She likewise said she was selecting Michael Smith as town head to supplant Keith Freeman. Despite the fact that Freeman, arraigned for insolvency extortion, keeps on serving overseer, Henyard had probably terminated him August 5, despite the fact that legal administrators made no move to endorse her choice. Henyard said, Keith Freeman, I know you're watching, you no longer work for the village of Dalton, as if he were speaking to television cameras or the camera that was recording the village's livestream of the meeting last month. With only two of six town legal administrators present Tuesday, the arrangements are probably going to be tested by different legal administrators at a future gathering. Henyard said Tuesday the board can't drop a town executive gathering and that, I'm actually going to push ahead with the interaction, like making arrangements. Brindley said legal administrators who acted to drop the normal gathering didn't give adequate public notification, and, we needed to figure out through underground signifies, the gathering had been rescheduled. At Village Hall, metal detectors, as well as some uniformed police officers who have also been present at several board meetings, were in place. Members of the audience have had to pass through these detectors in order to enter the meetings. Henyard spent a decent part of Tuesday's get-together describing her achievements and said, we should battle now to take our local area back. Independently on Tuesday, the Illinois head legal officer's office said Dalton disregarded the state's Open Gatherings Act during town executive gatherings June 3 and July 1 by neglecting to make them available to general society.